Hey, what's up everybody? Ollie from Flight Comp. And I'm going to make a short video. Uh, I'm working on a cool little project. I need to make some servo frames for these Bluebird uh, M15s. And I don't want to 3D print them because these are going into a couple of F5J planes and I want them to be as reliable and durable as possible. And yeah, I found that PLA um, gets brittle over time and is very susceptible to uh, heat. And I don't, I'm not really set up with my 3D printer to do uh, ABS or other like high temp materials. So I'm going to try to make my own frames uh, out of carbon. And what I have here is a 3D printed mold. So this is the prototype frame that I came up with. And basically, I modified it slightly after I made this and then printed this mold, which has four frames in it. And I've already waxed this up with some uh, mold release wax and put a coat of PVA on it, which is drying right now. And I'm going to just basically just stuff a bunch of carbon in here and clamp something flat to the back to compress it down. And I've printed these little tiny, um, hard to see, but they're basically like little presses that are going to go into the deep portions of the mold. Uh, so I'm going to lay the carbon in and then press those little pieces here in and then put something flat on and clamp it down. And these will become a permanent part of the frames. It's just a tiny bit of PLA. It's not going to be uh, structural, but more just to get the shape I want. So anyway, we'll see how this uh, works out. Right now I'm going to wait for this to dry, and then I'll put some carbon in and see what happens. Alright, I got some carbon cut up. So this is just some unidirectional carbon toe. And then I have some little bits of uh, spread toe carbon. And I have my epoxy mixed up here and the PVA is dry so I'm gonna go ahead and try to apply all this stuff uh, I don't have a tripod set up and I only got two hands so I'm just gonna lay this up and then show you what it looks like afterwards alright well I got a bunch of carbon in here um, this is just one layer on the back side just to kinda of finish it off but there's a bunch of toe crisscrossing everywhere and I put those little plastic uh, kind of plugs or whatever in there to squeeze the carbon down at the deepest points. Then I have a little bit of thickened epoxy over um, the mounting uh, legs or whatever you could call them on the trays. Just I'm hoping that when I put something on the back of here and clamp it that it'll help push everything together. And uh, so I'm going to put a piece of a sheet of plastic over this and then find something to um, clamp on the back side. All right, plastic sheet on top, and then I think I'm going to put this little bit of foam on here. Maybe it'll just help push everything down better. I don't know. And then I got like, a piece of this Corian I think I can put on top and clamp. It's fairly flat. But we'll see how it goes, you know, just cross my fingers. Hopefully it'll come out okay. If not, it's not a big deal. So there are my clamps. And we do have a lot of epoxy uh, oozing out of the edges. So I'm going to let this dry for like two days actually because this epoxy is really slow curing. And I can't put heat on this because of the PLA mold. You can see more epoxy oozing out there. So we're going to wait two days and see what we get. Alright, well, I don't know if I'm going to try to pull the parts out of the mold yet, but I did unclamp it. And I'm just going to um, flip it over and see what it looks like here. Well, it seems to have squished down pretty good. Um, 
still a little soft, so I think I need to give this another, I don't know, 8 or 10 hours. And then we can try to get it out of the mold. Well, it's been a few days. I let this dry for about two days just to make sure it was good and cured. I've trimmed up the edges and pried them up and uh, blasted it with some compressed air and I think it's ready to come out. So let's see if we can pry this sucker out here. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. There's a few little voids and bubbles, but all in all, it looks very good. Let's see if uh, servo fits. Oh, wow. Looks like I did a good job taking the measurements because uh, servo seems to fit perfectly in there. Really cool. I'm very happy with that. So I think the next thing I'm going to do is uh, trim trim it up, trim these up, cut them apart, and get all four of my trays ready to go. Um, I, I will have to drill these holes for the mounting screws. These are just little indication marks. They're not holes all the way through. And this still has a layer of uh, PVA on it, so I'll have to wash it off with some water. But yeah, let's get these trimmed up and see how they look. All right, where I cleaned up the servo trays. So I scrubbed off all the PVA mold release uh, with some water and a, and a little brush. And everything's looking really good. And I actually um, drilled the holes there. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm going to use these little tiny screws here. And uh, everything fits, screws work, I'm really happy with these. And I'm actually gonna you know, go ahead and install these in a, in a model and then when it's, when it's in there I'll show you what it's like. Well there's the finished product. I have a uh, servo mounted in my new carbon fiber, solid carbon fiber uh, servo tray in a uh, F5J wing tip. And it came out, you know, about as good as I had hoped. So I'm really happy with it. So yeah, that's it. It's, it's just a fun little project. And if you guys have a little bit of um, design talent or you have some of that free design software and teach yourself how to use it, and a 3D printer, you can go from a 3D printed prototype part to a 3D printed mold to a final carbon fiber part that's going to be incredibly uh, stronger than a plastic part and probably lighter as well and last basically forever. I could have spent a lot of more a lot more time on this mold polishing it and making it look smooth and all that but you know it's just a simple servo tray it's going in the wing no one's ever going to see it but uh, yeah there you go so maybe this will inspire, inspire some of you guys to um, try making some of your own stuff it doesn't have to be limited to a servo frame you could make all kinds of things with with this process hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one